In this video, we'll see how to work with calculations in Tableau. If you are used to Microsoft Excel and there are some inbuilt functions by Microsoft in Excel, like some minimum, maximum, average, you can uh, calculate the difference. So there are all the functions, whatever you have in Excel, similar to that you have in the Tableau part. So let us see some few calculations which are basic in Tableau for the first time. Now you can download this workbook below this video. The name of the workbook is calculations and the sheet name that is the database name is global superstore 2017 excel file. I have picked up the orders table here. Now what I'll do is I'll try to create some calculations but for that I need to have some data here. So first thing is I'll just double click on this subcategory, double click on this sales part and after that I'll just double click on this profit here. So now if you see I have the profit and sales with respect to the subcategory which is given here. So what I'll do is I'll try to make into the descending order first. I'll select this say as descending order sales. I'll expand this option, expand the data here. Yeah. Now what, I'm, what I'll be doing is here is I want to calculate cost of the subcategory. When can you calculate the cost? When you have the sum, if you subtract the profit from there, you'll be getting a cost. So I have the sales. If I subtract the profit from here, I'll be getting a cost at this place. But there is no cost measure in this place. If you observe carefully, there is no cost. So what I can do is I can manually create a cost field that's a cost measure which will subtract sales minus profit and it should give me a cost here. Creating a field manually, it's very simple in this Tableau part. How do you create it? You select any measure from here like this and you click on this drop down. Any measure you can select. You can click on this option as create and the given app option is given as create calculated field. Select this one, you'll get a dialog box. Here you can give the name of the field. Here you can do the calculations part. On the right hand side, if you see, you'll be getting different types of calculations in Tableau. For example, if I click on this drop down, I'll be getting number related calculations. If I click on this, I'll be getting some minimum, maximum, tan, cos, theta, all these options. If I click on this drop down, date related functions like find out the day and find out the month, year, quarters and click on the drop down there are different types of logical and so on so you can use any one of them if you want to hide and show you can just click on this button it will show and hide the this one this dialog box if you click on this show dialog box it will help you to write the you know calculation this is the syntax which you can work on right now what we are doing is we want to find out the sales minus profit and i'll be getting a cost here what is the name of the field you want to give i want to give the name of the field as cost and what exactly you want right here is I want to say I want to subtract sum of sales. Okay, how do I write it? You just type as sum, press tab. When you write down sum, you'll get the options and functions which are given here. You press tab from a keyboard. What is the expression you want? You just type as sales. When you type sales, it says there is already a measure. If you see there's a green color measure sales, which is already present. As soon as you see that press tab from a keyboard like this. And after that, I'll press subtract symbol, sum of, press tab, again profit, scroll down. I mean, you can just use your arrow keys to come down. And uh, let's say if I write as profit and press tab key from a keyboard. Remember, whenever you find out the sales, these are already inbuilt in the measures itself. You can use those one and you have to press OK. Apply and OK. Here, if you observe, I've got a cost measure. There's a small slight difference between this discount symbol and this one. Why? There's an equal hash sign and here it's only hash sign. Equal hash sign says it is a calculated field. It is not the uh, automatic generated field or it's not a database field itself. It is now newly created field. So what you can do is you can just pick up this cost and you can drop into this place itself like this. I'll just pick up the cost and I'll drop into this window here. So if you find out, if you see this sales minus profit and cost, let's try to calculate roughly. Uh, if you subtract 73, uh, if you subtract 14,000 from 73, you'll get this answer as 53, 58,361. That is nothing but the cost. So like this, you can keep on creating multiple calculated fields. Let's see some more few examples. I want to calculate minimum and maximum of some particular field. So first of all, I'll pick up this as the product name. I'll pick up the product name, double click on the product name and double click on the sales part. So here it says there is uh, there are multiple products. If you see there are multiple products which are given here. Now in this products, the total sales is 2706. Now 2706 is nothing but sum of the sales of all the product. You see sum of sales of all the product. This product might be sold 10 times, 20 times. If you want to find out 
what was the minimum and maximum but before that i'll show you how come 2706 came so for that you have to go to the analysis menu bar and you have to go to this analysis menu bar and you have to select this option as aggregate measures so now aggregate measures if you see it says i'll just expand so it is visible properly here i'll just expand this field any one field you can expand yeah now when you expand it says this product 1.7 cubic foot it is 104500 minimum was 208 and maximum was 1041 it has been sold 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 times it has been sold and the maximum was 1041 and the minimum was 208 so this was the entire detail about it same way this was the minimum was 6 and this was the maximum which was sold that the price amount was sold so what i can do is i have an option where i can find out minimum and maximum with some function that is by creating a calculated field so first of all i'll come back to the original part analysis menu bar and i'll click on this aggregate measures this is the 2706 if you combine all of them it gives you 2706 i'll create a calculated field where i can show minimum and maximum click on any field click on this drop down click on this create calculated field and here i'll type as minimum and down i'll type as min sales that's it minimum of sales and i'll click on apply click on ok again if i want i can just pick up this minimum and i can drop it in this place like this and if you see it says the minimum is 208 and here also the minimum is 6 same way i'll try to create a maximum click on this drop down click on this create calculated field type as maximum if you want you can give the name of the field anything i'll type as max of sum max of sum and click on yeah there's a mistake here if you see when you keep on typing you'll get an error message the calculated field contains error so what is the error it says sum is being called with brackets did you mean by float so i said this is the incorrect which i've written so what i have to write as max bracket open i have to type as sales and then you have to press tab key from a keyboard and now see there's no error message which i've got click on apply click on ok and i'll be getting a maximum pick up and drop it remember the 14000 was the number uh, 1400 1041 that was the number so the minimum sales done was the 208 and the maximum amount of sales it was done was 1041 so this way you can keep on creating a calculated field now let's see how to work on the ceiling and floor so i'll select the ceiling and floor and now what i want is i'll just pick up this subcategory and i'll pick up this as sales so if you see here i've got the numbers here which are not in the ascending or descending order so i'll make into descending select and say as descending order which is given here but i want if you want ceiling and floor you should have some decimal numbers in this example so for that i need to format i'll just click on this drop down click on this format click on this format pane default i'll just click on this place and i'll say as i want the number custom and i'll select as two decimal click outside so if you observe here i've got the numbers which are in two decimal so i'll just click on this format pane which i've got it here now what i'll do is i want to make into you know round off all these numbers so how do i round off these numbers using this ceiling and floor create a calculated field where if the number is 824.14 it should be as 824 itself if the number is 681.76 it should become as 682 so this is how i can make the ceiling and floor so let's see if i want to create a ceiling so i'll just click on this drop down click on this create calculated field here i'll give the name as ceiling type here as in the pane i'll type here as ceiling sum of sales so i can type here and i'll just click on this apply and okay so what i'll do is i'll pick up this ceilings and i'll drop into this part itself now if you observe this was the number 681.76 it has been converted to 682 that's the ceiling part wherever you find number is 824 at .14 it will be converted to the upper one same way if i want to the convert into the lower one that is nothing but given as floor itself so for that i'll just click on this drop down click on this place click on create calculated field and here i'll type as floor i'll type as floor sum of sales that's it and i'll just click on this apply and okay so here there's a there's a measure which is created as floor so i'll pick up this floor and i'll drop it in this place so if you observe i've got a floor all the numbers if you see it has taken to one level down itself so whatever decimal it has got it has rounded off to the lower one so if you observe here 681.76 it was the number it has converted to 681 itself 
so it has taken to the ground part itself same way ceiling will take you to the top and the floor will take you to the bottom part itself so that is the method you can just keep on creating minimum maximum ceiling and floor and also we have seen how to create the cost field itself so i hope you have understood the basics of creating a calculation field itself that's all for this video